Greetings everyone! Welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm excited to dive into the process of deploying profiles in Salesforce. So why is deploying profiles important in Salesforce? Well, for one, profiles control what users can see and do in your Salesforce organization. By deploying profiles, you can ensure that your right people have the right level of access. That's right. Whether you're rolling out changes or onboarding new users, deploying profiles is essential for maintaining data integrity and security. But before we dive into all of it, if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting content. We upload new videos every single time and to all of our returning viewers, thank you for your continued support. We love having you as part of our fantastic community. Okay, before we go into deploying profiles, all you gotta do is go to your web browser of choice. Basically, um, Salesforce is compatible to all our web browsers um, like Brave, Safari, Microsoft Edge, Firefox. Right now, I'm using uh, Google Chrome. And go to salesforce.com. Once you are on salesforce.com, if you don't have an account, please create one, okay? And once you've successfully created your account, all you got to do is log into the interface with your credentials and you will be hovering into uh, this gear icon here where it says setup, okay? Click your setup icon. Once you cl click your light, uh, that gear icon all right so you have to type in okay you have to type in um profiles see if there's a suggestion yeah there you go okay so once you are in the profile, all you're going to do is uh, click this one right here, okay? Okay, now you are on the profile uh, menu. Before we continue, let me just share that deploying profiles in Salesforce offers a lot of advantages, primarily related to enhancing data security, you know, improving user access control, and simplifying administrative tasks. So... You can control who can view, edit, or delete specific records or fields within Salesforce. This level of control is essential for protecting uh, sensitive data, right? And profiles allow you to tailor access permissions for different user groups. You can define precisely what action users can perform, from viewing records to exporting data, you know. So deploying profiles help prevent accidental or unauthorized data loss or changes. It ensures data integrity and compliance with um, privacy regulations. So when onboarding new users, for example, deploying profiles simplifies the process. You can assign profiles that are pre-configured with the uh, necessary permissions for specific job roles, saving time and reducing the risk of oversight. Managing profiles makes administrative tasks more efficient and you can update permissions for a group of users simultaneously by modifying the profile rather than adjusting each user individually. Also guys, let me just tell you that without profiles, basically um, administrators might need to make manual access for changes for multiple users, you know, which is really, if you ask me, is time consuming and error prone. So this process simplify access management, management and you can tailor profiles to meet specific compliance requirements because human errors like accidental data deletions or unauthorized data changes are reduced through profile-based access control. So how do we do that? Once you are here in the user profiles, right? Okay, all you gotta do is uh, click, uh, if you can see some bots, the, there's, there should be a bot option here. If you don't have one, just click, click one. And then once you click the bot, you will be asked for the, uh, the access, right? Click the bot, you go to edit, 
and then you will give them all permissions you should tick all the permissions to enabled right now it's not working let's go back again in the profile while it's loading remember when making changes to your salesforce instance deploying profiles ensures uh that new users or changes in user roles have appropriate access level okay do not forget that so in the event of access related issues guys profiles can help troubleshoot problems by providing a clear view of which users have access to um, specific data and functionalities right in summary it supports data integrity and compliance while simplifying administrative tasks and reducing the risk of errors and data loss and once again if you find this video helpful Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.